The Battle of the Boyne was a major conflict in British history that took place on July 1, 1690, along the Boyne River in Ireland. It was fought between King William III, William of Orange, and the exiled King James II. James sought to retake his throne through an alliance with Ireland and France, following his deposition and exile after William's landing at Brixham and English desertions. The Battle of the Boyne was a swift but indecisive loss for James, which reassured William's allies of his commitment to defeating all French-aligned forces. James's escape prolonged the first Jacobite rising into 1691, but a series of Irish Jacobite victories in the northern country were followed by the Battle of the Boyne. Background In the last half of the 17th century, England was ruled by the Puritan Oliver Cromwell and his son Richard after the English Civil War. The English protectorate ended when Richard resigned, and Parliament ruled until the restoration of the House of Stuart in 1660 under King Charles II. Charles II aligned himself with France and signed the Treaty of Dover, where he converted to Catholicism and devoted warships to Louis XIV's war effort. When James II ascended to the throne, he aimed to eliminate Protestant influence in Ireland, while William III of Orange, chief magistrate of the Dutch provinces, opposed France's expansionist goals. William married Mary, Charles II's niece, and had planned to turn English firepower on France upon James's death, but James's wife bore a son. In June 1688, William rallied thousands of Dutchmen and landed in Brixham, effectively ceding the throne to William. In April 1689, Parliament crowned William and Mary as joint sovereigns of Britain. Ireland became dangerously recalcitrant under Tyrconnell, who was able to muster an army of Irish Catholics known as Jacobites. James received French support and set in motion his plan to retake the throne. William dispatched a landing force of 20,000 men under the Duke of Schomburg, and they took up camp on opposite sides of Dundalk, where they remained throughout winter. In March 1690, French musketeers landed in southern Ireland to reinforce James's army. William landed in Carrickfergus in June 1690, and James protected Dublin while William advanced towards it. They clashed at the Battle of the Boyne, where William emerged victorious. Battle At the Battle of the Boyne, James II led an army of 23,000 Irish Catholics and 6,000 French soldiers. While William III commanded an army of 37,000, mostly British and Dutch, with better weaponry and more artillery. James positioned his forces along the river, with a small force guarding the potential fords. William settled on a three-pronged strategy to cross the river at different points. William's right wing encountered Jacobite dragoons but eventually crossed the river. In the center, William split his forces into three groups and successfully crossed the river despite James's counterattack, killing William's lieutenant. William himself crossed the river at Mills Ford, and James ordered a measured withdrawal south to Dulek as William's army gained the upper hand. Aftermath Although William III won the Battle of the Boyne, his failure to decisively defeat James II's army made it challenging to end the rebellion in Ireland. The Jacobites retreated to Dublin and then to Limerick, where they held out under siege until the following year. The Treaty of Limerick ended the uprising, but periodic challenges to William III's reign continued. The battle also impacted the continental balance of power. The League of Augsburg was concerned about France's rising power and its repeated attacks on the Dutch Republic. The Franco-Irish defeat at the Boyne reassured William's allies that France would not go unchecked, and Britain could resist French expansionism. William's ascension brought an end to the War of the Grand Alliance by 1697.